Okay, welcome back to the channel everybody. So just recently seen the launch of the brand new TaylorMade P770, superseding the 2001 version of the P77. They look very similar, the lofts are exactly the same. We're just gonna maybe delve into the differences between these two irons and test them and see if there is actually a physical difference. And if you're playing the current one, would you be upgrading to the new one? Okay, so first glances at the back of the iron, obviously the name is exactly the same, P770. So let's just compare the looks between these two irons. So Really, maybe in the newer version, we've just seen a little bit of a cleaner back of the golf club look, a little bit more of that satin, just that tiny bit of high polished chrome in that triangle uh, section there. So for me, a little bit better looking, a little bit cleaner, I quite like that satin finish. The sole of the club side by side, maybe a fraction thinner on the newer version compared to the previous one. Having said that, the previous one has got a little bit of chamfer at the back with that little bit of a polished section. Into the sort of playing position, and to be honest, from this angle, the shaping of the head may be a little bit more rounded in the newer version in the toe of the golf club, but the top line, maybe not quite as blocky, but very similar to be honest. Offset looks very, very much the same, and the blade length looks pretty identical. So not a huge difference of difference in that playing actual position. So I'm gonna kick things off with the 2001 version, the P770. So this probably hasn't been a hugely popular iron. The P790 typically is cleared up in this sort of area, but great option. Similar technology to what we see in the 790, which is hugely popular, but obviously with that little bit more loft, a little bit more compact head shape. So it does, it does sort of have its place in the lineup of the TaylorMade P series family. So 33 degrees of loft, both got the same shafts in, both got the same lie. Touch low in the face in that first opening shot but a decent sort of feel off that club face. We've got that forged head, got some tungsten inside the head, which we're gonna talk a little bit more about, maybe explain the differences in technology between these two irons. But this has got the, the speed foam in there and it's also got that tungsten, we've got that power slot in the bottom of the club, so maybe those low strikes, just picking up that little bit of extra ball speed. And a nice ball flight to that. Let's say a little bit, a little bit clicky on these sort of hollow heads, but it's sort of dampened a little bit with that speed foam that's inside. A little bit of a higher up the face strike, just got that launch a little bit higher with that particular one. So as I mentioned, maybe with these irons with a slightly higher loft there, maybe for that golf who's still looking for a little bit of power and bit of speed off that uh, club face. Because uh, obviously the next one along from that is that P7MC, which is obviously not hollow. It's not got any sort of tungsten in there. It's more of a one piece forged iron. Loft's a little bit weaker again at 34. So there's a little bit of a jump then, isn't there? So this is maybe just for the golfers who wants that little bit of forgiveness, a little bit of ball speed off the face, but without going too strong on the loft. Nice shot, good strike. Just peeling a little bit on that right hand side. But really all in all, it's a decent feel. You know, I was a good, big fan of the sort of 770 when it first came out, this particular 2001 model. It does feel nice off that club face, it gives you that sort of feedback. Okay, let's hit one more shot and then we'll move into the new 2023 version. Oh, that's a little bit low, I'm gonna feel that today. It's about, it's literally just about zero temperature today. So those are slightly low in the face ones are just stinging a little bit there. But not a bad shot there, you know, considering that was a little bit low, maybe that speed slot in the bottom, just picking up that little bit of ball speed, keeping that distance number up. Okay, so moving into the 2023 model, I've done a full review, you can go and check that out, but we'll run through a little bit of the tech in this video as well. But I think really probably from your side of things, when you're looking in, you're looking against that P770 2001 model to the new one, you look at it, it looks pretty identical until you get the two side by side. So a lot of you may be saying, it's just the same iron, it's, you know, why would I upgrade, you know, and that's exactly why I want to do this sort of video really. As I say, just, Look of it at the back, it's just a little bit cleaner, but again, that's just the back, that doesn't, isn't really important, is it? Into that plane position, again, it's a nice shape, just a little bit more rounded in that toe, as we mentioned. You know, compact squat head, a little bit of a medium sort of top line. It's not thin, but it's also not too chunky. It's quite a nice compromise, really, I would say, between that bladed iron to then that more game improvement iron. Okay, again, just a fraction low in that club face, but decent ball flight, very similar to ball flight to what we've just seen really with the other one. We're not, probably not gonna see anything different in that 
launch. Probably the ball speed's not really going to change. I wouldn't have thought. That's probably going to be a little bit more of my strike that's probably going to change that more than anything. But, you know, it's the same loft at the end of the day, isn't it? 33 degree in that 7-iron. All the lofts of each of the irons are 3-iron all the way through to the gap wedge, which they are offering in the 770, are exactly the same. So there's no difference on loftings. As I say, the flight looks absolutely identical really to what we've just seen. Obviously, the numbers we'll look at at the end to see if there is any differences. So we've talked about the look of the club and obviously it does look very, very similar to what we see in the previous model. But then looking underneath that bonnet a little bit is where things just change a little bit. So the speed foam is going to that speed foam air, which is 69% lighter than the previous one in that model. We did see that change in the P790 and now we're sort of seeing that speed foam air coming into the new version of the 770. We've still got the tungsten inside the head and it's still about 46 grams of tungsten. Exactly the same what we've seen in that previous model, positioning of that, that tungsten weight will move fractionally up the club face. I think it's about one millimetre per difference of an iron. So then that creates a little bit more of that more penetrating ball flight with a little bit more spin in those scoring irons. That's a nice strike. Okay, a little bit more of the club face gives me a little bit more of that higher ball flight. Again, that is my strike changing that. And just first, maybe look there, maybe a little bit straighter with this particular club. But again, that can be obviously a bit more me than the actual club itself. Okay, let's hit one more and then we'll go and check a few numbers and see if there's any differences between the two models. Okay, so there's a batch of shots hit with the new P770. Let's go and check a few numbers out and see if there's any differences between those two models. Okay, so first let's check out the dispersion rings there. So the orange was the newer version, the white was the 2021 version. So obviously a little bit straighter with the newer one, a little bit more, maybe potentially a little bit sort of tighter there, both front to back, kind of maybe a little bit left to right, but probably more so that front to back. That's going to be more me, you know, my swing direction, my face to path relationship, a little bit of strike is also going to play a part of that as well. So could maybe retest those, flip them, and that, that pattern could change the other way around. If we maybe just look at the strike patterns between those two, so this heat patch puts the, the all those shots were hit with the 2021 model, you can see pretty good central shots, maybe a little bit low in that club face. Uh, we see the ones with the 2023, very sort of similar pattern to be honest. So there's no real differences there, just subtly changing a fraction around that centre of the golf club. Okay, and then look, looking at the numbers there, so we can see club head speed just over a mile an hour quicker as an average there with the new one. Shouldn't really be, shaft's exactly the same, flex, weight, length, there's no real sort of difference there. Not exactly sure what the head weight difference, I can't imagine it'll be very, very different. Uh, but just move that one a touch quicker. Um, obviously that's going to give me a little bit of that, more of that ball speed. So that ball speed gain there is obviously going to come through more of the um, the, the, the speed of the ball is going to come for more through the club head speed gain more than actual technology and maybe the face that's going to give you more ball speed launch pretty much identical as we we're going to expect uh, spin a little bit less with the newer version there against the uh, the older one so possibly probably prefer to have a little bit of that extra spin there potentially again my subtleties of those strikes will change i mean i've ventured a little bit from like 6700 up to down sorry down to 5,200, so a little bit of a fluctuation there, much tighter from front to back or low to high in terms of the spin, maybe a little bit more predictability with, with that newer one. Again, those my strikes will always uh, play a part of that. So 2021, 2023, would you go from that 2021 model to the 2023 model? Probably not. There's not enough for me to warrant to having that spend and that outlay to then upgrade, unless you want something nice and shiny in the bag, of course. Appreciate you watching the video as always, and hopefully we'll catch you all very soon.